With 18 days left until the Venezuela presidential elections, Lola continues to monitor closely the situation on the ground. Here are the latest updates for this week. First, the campaign's kickoff. On July 4, the presidential campaign officially started with people filling the streets of Caracas. Last week, we had reported 46 detentions throughout the year, but just since July 4 started, other 23 people were detained and then released. Another radio station was closed, and more persecution targeted supporters of opposition candidate Edmundo González Urrutia and opposition leader Maria Corina Machado. Despite their the repression, there have been mobilizations all around the country, and Maria Corina Machado was even able to visit El Callao, a part of, an or of the Orinoco mining arc and an area controlled by armed groups and deeply neglected by authorities. Second, an opportunity for change. With the official campaign kickoff, Edmundo González Urrutia published a video urging Venezuelans to take care of hope, acknowledging that change will not be easy. He spoke about the possibility of a transition where everyone is included, without political uh, discrimination and without persecution. He also addressed the armed forces, emphasizing his trust in the fact that they will play a role respecting the will of people expressed in the ballot. Third, ongoing international engagement. During the past week, the White House uh, confirmed that there are diplomatic efforts to maintain a dialogue with Venezuelan authorities. Additionally, Colombian Foreign Minister Luis Gilberto Murillo confirmed that Presidents Pedro and Lula have presented a proposal to Nicolás Maduro concerning guarantees for whoever loses the elections. Although details about these diplomatic efforts and negotiations are not public, the international community's engagement and concern about a peaceful transition as we approach July 28 will be key. To learn more about our work and what is happening in Latin American politics in Washington, D.C., follow our social media and subscribe to our Wallace website updates.